tan tan. Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the Broken Lugeras YouTube channel. At the moment, I'm on my way to my buddy Dwayne's house. And um, we have some work that we want to get done on um, his project. But before I go, I actually just want to show you guys something on the Honda. So recently, I've been having issues with the car. Not wanting to start. Basically what happens is, whenever the car is warm, or very warm, um, when I try to start it, the starter does not click at all. And when I looked here yesterday, I don't know if you guys can see, this is the ground on the starter solenoid. And um, I noticed this. I don't know if you can see the play. And that thing is tight. So, I suspect there is the starter solenoid that's missing around. I'm not too, too sure about that. If you guys do know anything about starters, I don't have too much um, exposure with starters and working with starters, but that's what I should think is the problem. If any of you guys do know, please let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram or whatever. I don't drive this car every day, every day. So it's not too much of an issue, but when I do want to go out then I don't want to drive around wondering is my car gonna start when I do stop so I need to sort that out ASAP <laughs> if you guys don't know doing yet this is Mr. Reed's Garage I also have a YouTube channel which I will hopefully uh convince him to upload more videos and car videos yeah i just uploaded my video of last day actually the Copy that. what is that slam that to like 2022 okay cool and this is what we're gonna be working on today if you guys can tell me what's in here we've actually had this car on the channel no but it was still 1300 that time remember when we drove to go fix the heat what heat was that the motor that's in the car now we drove one day so we had it on the channel or on the video. I don't know. But I really way. don't know. Let's see if you guys can figure out what's in here. We back it home now because we came to fix the jack quickly and then we're gonna start working. Can I do this with one hand? Tan tan tan! Beams! Today's mission, guys, is to fit this set of IRC coilovers into that car over there. So, um, yeah. You guys know that I don't still like to foam too much. We already have Dwayne's phone on the tripod for the time lapse and the stuff for his channel. But I will frequently update you guys on how far we've come and what we're going to be doing. It's a few days later guys and this is the outcome of the IRC coil is in the IE82 and um, do you care to explain what issues we ran into while installing? The one issue was with the rear struts so on the older model cars I think the original IRCs was for the Taz or the Conquest mm. the earlier model but for the later model at the back at the bottom we've got the the um the through hole mm. I don't know how else to put it but the top one is slotted the bottom one is basically just a through hole mm. so what we did was we left the bottom one and then we kind of slotted the top one 
for the ball to be able to go through it to align it up because on the wet look subs the holes are closer to each other mm. than what the holes are on the ARC coilovers so apart from that the install is fairly easy I would say it took us the whole day because we ran into load shedding yeah, and that took two hours alone. we were literally doing nothing for two hours but as he explained we had to just drill a hole and slot the rear coil of us which was and it was fairly easy to do but if you don't have the right tools or you don't have the right bits it would have been a pain in the ass to just get the job done but the job is done and it looks quite great we're gonna drive the car now and um feel how it feels successful swap yeah well straight swap not too bad i am impressed with the wheels it's not too bad it's been resprayed already but Scoochie. it's a it's a right job yeah In the wet. In the wet. <laughs> so there you have it guys, that is the end of today's video. As you guys saw, Dwayne picked up a nice set of blades mm -hmm. that will most probably be going on this car. Will be going on. I just need to find a nice set of tires now. Like a, a low profile, something lower than 195 for 250. So if anyone has a set of tires for sale, anything lower than a 195 would do. Please DM me. I will also leave Dwayne some the in the of the video. It is drizzling now, so I'm gonna end the video here. This will be the end of this specific video, guys. If you like the content, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to see more of the wheat look, please let me know in the comments down below. As I told you guys, it is a single boost swap um, AE82. A lot of people on my TikTok and my Instagram has been asking me where the champ is and before we end this video I just want to give you guys a short little update on the champ because I haven't been filming anything on the champ. The work that you guys will see which is a very very short clip in the next part of the video is very repetitive and it's quite boring to film and it's hard for me to actually film while doing that because there's nothing that I can do besides just keep working so I don't wanna um, film too much of what we're doing because I'm also not sure exactly where it's gonna hit but I will try to film updates and show you guys what we've done and how far we're getting with the bucky with that being said, enjoy the next piece of the video and see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Yo guys and welcome back to another video on the Broken Low Garage YouTube channel. We're chilling here with the Owens and today was literally like 36 degrees now and um, it only started getting a little bit cooler now so and as you guys know we work outside so we will be in the sun but right behind me I have my Nissan 1400 Bucky which as you guys saw in the beginning of the video 
is a bit rusted over there in that sections and whatever. We keep our holes there. So, what's gonna happen? We need to figure out exactly what we're gonna do regarding that little situation that we got going on over there. Over here we have a decent set of um, replacement sides or whatever you would call it. And as you guys can see it looks quite decent still. It's just over here it looks a little bit messed up but we will just have to figure out exactly how we're gonna use this metal to save that um, bucket outside there. We've spent the last week cleaning up here this section and um, making it a little bit wider for us to pull the cars in here and I've actually parked the Honda here for the time being in front of the Golf because we are obviously working on the champ I will still give you guys uh, show you guys what I'm planning to do here and what the future plan is but for now let's get busy